Convergent Design with Dan. Now, Dan, you guys are makers of the Gemini, which is one of the leading portable recorders for filmmakers. And uh, you're not stopping though where you're at. You're bringing us to the 4K revolution that everybody's been talking about, and you're one of the first to do it. So tell us about that. Why, thank you. Uh, I'm Dan Keaton. I'm the director of sales and marketing for Convergent Design. We are very close to releasing Airy Raw for this. Uh, on Monday, Airy at their press conference announced that they are giving us full certification uh, within one week. So we have uh, three or four days to go before we have full certification. So with the Gemini 444, one can get the upgrade for Airy Raw and then record uh, from an, any Alexa camera up to uh, 60 frames per second. And that's the Gemini at 59.95 uh, plus 29.95 for the Airy Raw upgrade. Now, then we decided, just like you suggested, why don't we take it up a level? When we built this, we used state-of-the-art electronics. We had to wait until June to get production level copies of the uh, of the, the very advanced chips. Well, a year has passed, and we have sample quantities of the next generation chips, and now uh, in June again, we will have production level quantities, which allows us to really ramp this up. So we have the Gemini 444, very capable recorder with many different options, and then we come up with the Airy Raw, which has one and a half times as much memory, four times the memory bandwidth, twice the computing power. And so what we've done is we've added more inputs and outputs. So you can have four inputs and two outputs, or two inputs and four outputs, and they are all 3G. So you can go from uh, Aerie Alexa and record uh, with Aerie Raw, but that's just the same as this. But then you can take other cameras there are other uh, small cameras, uh, such as this one, uh, that will be coming out or have already come out with 120 frames per second in 2K RAW. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Let us direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next lights. Get lit. Uh, 4K RAW uh, is coming out. Uh, the Canon uh, C500 is a fine example of a camera that uh, we can record with. We're working very closely with Canon. So this will be an excellent recorder uh, for any 4K RAW camera. But it's so much more. We can record from four, channel, uh, four cameras simultaneously. It all depends on the frame rates and stuff like that. But let's say that we want to record RAW at 120 frames per second. Well, we can do one of those. Or if you give us four cameras still recording in RAW, we can record um, 30 frames per second from each camera. Or we can record two uh, uh, full uncompressed at uh, you know, certain frame rates. And if you're going to record uh, 1080p 60 uh, full uncompressed, you can record one. That's incredible. So like, this would be a great tool for not only high-end filmmakers, but uh, maybe mobile production companies that have, are doing that multi-cam shoots. And Let's talk about mobile production companies. Anytime you have multiple cameras, now again, I've been talking about RAW, but this is also a DNX HD recorder. So this is not just a compressed, I mean a full uncompressed recorder. We're, as we have added to this one, this adds full DNX HD support so that you can use it full uncompressed when you need to, and when you need compressed, you've got it. A lot of people don't understand that Final Cut Pro fully supports uh, DNX HD. All you have to do is download the codecs from the uh, Avid website. 
which is kind of nice. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. Now, you've been talking about, obviously, Ari and Canon. Uh, we, we heard about uh, Sony with the FS700, the 4K readiness. What's your relationship with them? Are they allowing you to be ready for that? <laughs> we have the closest relationship with Sony. Uh, uh, we, they treat us very nice. We treat them very nice. And uh, Sony corporate has to make a decision. Uh, do they want to uh, go down the path of allowing us and other maybe third-party recorders to, to work with their cameras? And uh, the, I can tell you that the people in the U.S., uh, specifically some serious executives, definitely want that to occur. We, uh, I got a call a few months ago that says, can we do this, 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 and this? And said, was yes, 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 yes. But they didn't know about this at the time, and they were amazed that I was kind of able to answer yes to everything. And then uh, they have to go through their process to get that approved. So we think that there's a great case to do that. Uh, we think Sony does that. But it, when they do, we'll be ready. Great. So obviously, C500 was announced shortly ago, and you guys are already ready to, to accept it. We've been working with Canon for months. And so when we when we're ready to see the FS700 get 4K, you guys are going to be ready for it right away. Uh, uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, in other words, um, when when Sony makes a decision, uh, we will be doing everything we can to support that. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I thank you for your time, Dan. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor.